Just south of Baghdad in the al district, an Army operations officer is assessing a couple of temporary U.S.-owned, theater-provided bridges. Captain Jeffrey Vones, the assistant operations officer with the North Carolina National Guard 252nd Combined Arms Battalion, is measuring and taking pictures of two key crossing sites. Right now, vehicle traffic can only move in one direction at a time on the narrow bridges. Stop it after that white one, Bill. The purpose of the bridge assessment is to review the scope of work needed to replace the bridges with more permanent structures. This one will likely have to stay in service while the new one's being constructed, but the good thing is, is given the alignment of the road, it's actually kind of off of the alignment, the existing alignment. So when they go in to replace it, you know, it'll be a good straight shot for the construction. The first bridge is the newer of the two but we'll still need replacing. The bridge right there right now is a, as a temporary bridge is fine. You know, they're, they're meant to come in here and just be a stopgap measure, but it's not a permanent solution. This type of work is nothing new for Captain Vones. As a civilian, he works for the North Carolina Department of Transportation as a bridge engineer. The second bridge crosses over the Euphrates River and is more of a concern to the local shake in the area because unlike the first bridge, this bridge has no guardrails which is dangerous for the children that use the crossing to get to school. Leaders from both the Army and the government of Iraq will review the overall bridge assessment and determine when work can begin on replacing these vital crossings. Reporting from Multinational Division Baghdad, I'm Sergeant Kirk Bell. Good, sir.